no text to speech just uploaded a new video the discord dating bot rabbit hole right here three hours I think ago i just found my favorite way to have fun on discord and it ha like the rabbit hole of discord dating service has continues to do with making discord spammers extremely angry so much so that they send me messages like this but how did i find what are you... what is this supposed to say Motherfucker, bitch, India, I hard fuck your mom. These people. Okay. How did this all start? Well, one of my viewers <laughs> sent me an email about a group of Bengali Discord scammers. Bro, this is actually so true. This is so true. Oh my god, chat. Chat, chat, listen. Listen. Who here has gotten those random ass Discord artists contacting you saying, Hey, I'm a graphic designer. Would you like to commission me? I really need the money or something along those lines. Something along those lines. How many of you have gotten that here, yeah? I, I'm, I used to get them daily. I used to get them daily. I used to get them daily. Now it's every once in a while. One time, one time, I copied the message from one of the scammers that I've gotten and sent them to the other person. And then that person that I was actively texting with, so the new one that I copied the messages to, that I pasted the messages in, has said something in a different language uh i didn't understand what it was so instead of just replying back i copy pasted this message and put it into google translate and google translate told me it was hindi and the translation was what department are you from would you look at that would you look at that huh huh So, Bengali Discord scammers? Definitely. Yep, ain't no way. Yes way. Yes, 100% way. I think I posted it on Twitter when it happened as well. Kids' FBI self-report. <laughs> I, I, I think I posted the screenshots on Twitter, like, some months back already, man. Bengali Discord scammers, specifically a group of people who tell you to DM them, and when you DM them, they'll tell you to visit a website and sign up. And as a reward for signing up this website, they will send you some questionable- I haven't questionable gotten those yet. I haven't gotten those yet, but the artist scammers, bro. So bad. Photos. So is this a new intricate scam, or is it people just spamming websites? And why are they even doing this in the first place? To be well, to fair- to answer that question- To be fair- most of the ones that I'm getting, to be fair, actually, let me check my spam folder. I don't know if you guys knew, chat, but on a message request, there's a spam folder now. Yeah, here, three hours ago. Three hours ago, there's someone. Hey, ya. Uh, usually, usually when someone just sends me, hey, hey, how are you? I ignore them. Usually, like, now I mostly ignore them. Let me actually answer this guy. Hi. Let's see. Let's see what happens with this one. Let's see what happens with this one. This one apparently is on Rosie server, so if uh, they are an artist scammer bot, I'll, I'll tell Rosie about it. I logged into my 13th Discord alt account, Brad Armpit, and I decided to see what was up. Now, you'll notice my Discord is completely blurred up the wazoo, because I actually had to make a custom Discord theme to blur what? all the profile pictures and other things on oh Discord, my God. so that when I edit this video, I don't have to spend four hours censoring everything while <laughs> thinking about how ammunition tastes at a high velocity to the back of my throat. With these uh, spam alt accounts, which Kurt I have DM quite a bit of them, if you go to the- not that one. You can still see what's going on, even with the blur. Uh, these Discord profile accounts usually contain a profile picture of a lady who forgot to put her clothes on before uh, she put the phone. But in fact, I, I haven't don't... seen any of those yet. Let me check my spam folder. Uh, message requests, spam. This one might be one. Profile? No, no, it's not. 
No, mostly the ones I'm getting is um, artists. So I had to install scammers. a Chrome extension to block profanity because if you look at these people's profiles, whether it be their status or their about me, it is the most <laughs> bro most deviously down bad thing I have. That is so smart of him though. Like instead of having to go back and censoring everything, just install the Nabrosa extension. What the fuck? That's so Ever smart. Had. Fifty Shades of Grey, move over. <laughs> you got a new competitor. Anyways. Also, the sad part is all those accounts, like you see how it says member since June 6, 2017. All those accounts are stolen. All those accounts are stolen from someone who actually used to have a Discord account. Who for uh, stolen from someone who was dumb enough to fall for a, for something for like a hacked account maybe yeah who fell for a scam themselves and all of that shit. Bad thing I have ever read. Fifty Shades of Grey, move over. <laughs> you got a new competitor. Anyways, back on topic. We need to move forward with this video. Where do I even find these accounts? I should probably get one of those extensions that blurs like um. Not safe for work shit and stuff like that. And like sensor shit for um, my Firefox so I'm safe on stream. That sounds, how do they that behave when you eventually DM them? And I say eventually because I know you guys. Yeah, it really doesn't matter what Discord server you join, but anything involving adult content, these accounts will be there. Now, there's so many horny the people. The way that they act is in one of two ways. For example, in this Discord server, there's no general chat, so this doesn't apply, but sometimes these accounts will just spam every single channel in a server with something like, hey, I'm home alone. Text me. Yeah, they- They don't even do the English correctly. I hate this so English much. English will not be Englishing in this video. But in the case of this Discord server, I don't need to worry about trying to find messages of women trying to talk to me. I can just look in the member list because every single one of these accounts with an exclamation mark has something like DM me, DM me. And the reason why it has an exclamation mark is so they appear on top of the list. DM me, DM me, DM me. Now, if you're unaware, the whole reason why their name is exclamation oh, mark is so that is. it appears at the top of the online there list. Keep... Pre-watched, pre-watched, pre-watched. Eventually, we'll get people with normal usernames, but these people want to be at the top. So, I don't know, when you got tunnel vision and the blood flow is not going to your upper head and it's going to the lower one, you just, I must see women. And your primate brain will just click on one of these profiles and accidentally. DM them. Now, sometimes when you DM some of these people, it will automatically respond back to you in an instant. How are you? Peepoo. Where are you from? Beepland. Which country? I'm from Atlantis, of course. You have PayPal? But in a lot of cases, which I think are the best Straight cases, up. you'll actually stumble across a real human being. Now, unfortunately, I'm being ignored by this lady, but that's Stay frosty, thanks for the follow. Not out of the ordinary for me. So we're moving on to my next future girlfriend. Brett Jenny Fahat. I'm going to have to censor Jenny that Fahat. photo a lot more than, <laughs> than it needs to be censored. But when I'm in that <gasps> Brad armpit persona, let me tell you, nothing's going to stop me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh -huh. it looks like I have a fish on the line, and it's time to see we if this is in. a spam or a scam. And where am I from, baby? I'm, of course, from Tilted Towers. Yo, editor, just censor out this whole entire sentence. Do you have me? Okay, thank you, yeah. But if I sign up for her website, I get some special photos from her. Deal? Well, call me. Okay, I, yeah, okay, I've gotten, I've gotten one or two like this before. R more rare, but I've gotten one or Be two like this before. a car salesman because I'm closing deals, baby. And now I get the link. But I need to create and verify my email. Put the age there as 40. Thank you for the sub, Turk. Turk has Thank just you. subscribed. Five plus and show her a screenshot. Join first my link and show me screenshots first page, baby. All right, so I open up the website. You can see that we okay. have Hennessy, Shakira, Anna. Yo, Sarah. Shakira! <laughs> They've got Shakira! Shakira, Shakira! Open up the website. You can see that we have Hennessy, Shakira, Anna, Sarah, Candy with a K. Oh, good golly. So on this website, I'm supposed Thanks to enter an email man. to view confidential matches. Now, my normal email is already filled with a whole bunch of dating profiles. Thanks, whoever did that. So what I had to do is I had to make a whole new Gmail account. Brad Armpit 8. At gmail.com. Now, Janifa tells me, set your email and done step by step. Baby, please put your age 45 plus. I'm not 45. What? Uh -huh. Is that okay? No problem, baby. Just set 45 plus. Janifa tells me to unlock my matches. Thank you, Janifa. <laughs> oh, and it's taking me to a whole different website. This is not a dating site. Wait, what? What? 
just choose a woman and ask for a f <laughs> Just ask for a fuck. Janifa, what do I do? Wow, Janifa, <laughs> you're so, so smart. Thank you, babe. Oh, this one's tough. There's two. Click this bubby, bubby. So, so smart. Thank you, babe. Oh, this one's tough. There's two buttons now. You can see this is a very easy technique of wasting their time. Oh, yes. Wow. Bazinga. Continue. Oh, my <laughs> God. It's taking me to two websites. Five. Oh, no. Three. All right. Hopefully, this is the end of my infinite purgatory. I hope if I click confirm on this stinking button. I, it I, I, use the name Jenny if I want you, baby. It will not take me to another website. Thank you, Janif. I click on the big confirm button. Confirm. <laughs> One moment. Oh, God, I got to censor a lot. Oh, I'm going to hate oh, myself today. Thank you, Editor oh. B, for making sure this video could be on YouTube. And apparently, I also need to upload a photo to the website. I'm supposed to be 47, right? So I think this photo should really do wonders. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So late. Try the same system. Are you you kidding me? What do you mean nothing? I just spent 25 minutes going through torture, signing up for a dating website, and now it's so late and I have to restart. What? Many what the fuck? Later. Gamers, I have a confession to make. I got tricked. Because I think I finally caught on on what's going on. When I signed up for that first oh? website and it didn't work, I think that was a complete lie. And she made me sign up for another website. And when I signed up for this other website and I followed everything quick, I didn't just go back and forth and waste her time. She told me to use another Gmail and then she will video call with me. This is the whole carrot on a stick thing. I gotta sign up for more. I gotta sign up for more. I gotta sign up for all of these websites. What is the whole point of me signing up for these websites? Well, it's a big rabbit hole. I cannot confirm oh for God. this specific website. That's me covering my ass legally. But all of these profiles of women that want to talk to me are obviously fake profiles. And you'll notice yeah. I have a view from Green Eyed Hottie and I have four <laughs> messages Green -eyed. Already. It's three now. Apparently they can't count. But you'll notice I created my account at 11.11 in three minutes. Free coins? You can earn free coins? Yay! It's later I get a DM. Definitely not sketchy. But the whole point is they want you to earn coins. But the way coins work is that if I want to send one message, it costs me 40 coins. But let's say we bought 6,000 coins for $230. <gasps> it costs you $1.50 to send a message on a dating platform. That Why? It makes absolutely no sense to me. Until one of my viewers but actually it's showed me behind the scenes of these websites. But the way that it works is that if a customer, someone that is basically being scammed out of their money, sends a message, that will be put on a dashboard. And a whole bunch of workers, aka people that are catfishing people, will sign into this dashboard and will see these conversations and will have to respond as naturally as possible. So sometimes they'll have notes like, oh, they get it all on a fucking dashboard. Well, Green-eyed hottie went out on vacation this year. And the reason why there's notes on people is because you're not just talking to one person. In between this mm. message here and the message underneath here, these are two different people. In fact, the people yep, that are working yep, for yep, these yep, websites, yep. they get paid between 10 to 15 cents every single time they send a message. Now, since okay. I could send a couple messages for free, I took advantage of a little bit of rage that was building up inside of me. They responded back to me, and I even tried gaslighting them, telling them that this is actually an account from one of the website admins. You incorrectly responded to this message and did not flag it correctly. You will now be terminated from your position. Please check your email. <laughs> I think I remember the dude sending the guidelines of the job, like the job outline and what you're supposed to do. And it's like, keep the conversation going at all costs. Do not of try course. to meet up with the guy in person because he might just find some random person that looks like you and try to abduct them. There were some people uh, on that website that looked like they would actually do that. And the worst part about this oh scam is that the whole point is trying to make me fall in love with this person. So I continue to message them over and over again. And by the way, from the person that showed me behind the scenes, there were conversations that were years long you can years. only imagine how much financial years burden. spent like five figures just to chat to a catfish <gasps> that the victim has been put under a lot of the victims were lonely elderly people and people no. with autism it's absolutely 
fucking disgusting that these websites are taking advantage of these vulnerable people. Now, I just want to jump in here. It's been a day I'm editing this video right now, and I was actually talking to the person that leaked all of this catfishing information to me and how these websites work, and they told me that I should take a closer look at any website that I go to. And, well, if I go to the help section of this website, and I go to the terms and conditions, oh, and I scroll down to term number 10, profiles and interactions with okay. other users, it says the company operates system profiles, i.e. profiles connected to accounts which have been created by the company, which are either operated by contractors of the company, you know, the catfishes I've been talking who about, impersonate who impersonates persons. the persons portrayed in such... It's right there! It's legally not a scam profiles in their own terms and conditions they tell you that they are basically taking your money and tricking you into talking to real woman with air quotes and the company expressively reserves the right to chat with users through such system profiles not to rip you off and make you lose all your money it's in order to enhance the user's entertainment experience <laughs> yeah, of course. the lawyer that wrote these terms and conditions is one sick twisted piece of all right, I'm depressed at this point. Let's move back to the Discord chat because this is a different can of worms that's a little more lighthearted. Because here's the thing, Janifa, Jalissa, what's her name again? Our favorite friend Janifa, which isn't Janifa. a girl, by the way. I actually got in voice call with Janifa and it was a dude who like kind of like panicked for a second when his microphone went on. <laughs> but Janifa here actually... His microphone went on. Uh. But Janifa here actually doesn't work for this website. They're not someone that's trying to scam all these elderly people. In fact, Janifa is doing something called affiliate marketing. So if I sign up for this dating website with her link, Janifa's going to get a little bit of money. And as a uh. reward, once I sign up for the website and she's happy and content, she will just send me the photos uh. which she just stole off Reddit. In this case, though, Janifa saw me as an idiot. I, I wonder why. And after I signed up for the website, she again tried to get me to sign up for a different website to try and continue to make me sign up for these dating websites so that she can make money. I committed a little bit of a sin. I signed up for a website on my not no Texas speech profile, which will probably be <gasps> How banned dare in you? a couple days after this video goes live. But this is an affiliate marketing website that has a lot of stuff regarding dating. And well, Janifa, Jalissa, Jalika, whatever she wants to, I don't remember her name. She signed me up for the website, My Cute Girlfriends. And oh so conveniently, when I go on the website and search My Cute Girlfriends, Oh, look at that. We have my cute girlfriends. Now, when I click on this affiliate program, how, how much uh, we just get flooded with pulling. a lot of details. It is a CPL type, which means this on mean? the screen. Oh. I think it's cost. Costs per lead. A pricing model in affiliate marketing that pays a commission to a publisher for each lead they generate. So like if they send out by belief. Login. I can't remember it. What's on the screen is the correct thing. But for this affiliate program, what I need to do if we go into the description is that to get paid my commission, I need someone to create and activate an account, which is why Jalissa or Janiqua, that's why Janifa kept on pestering me, please send me confirmation email. Please send me confirmation email and activate it now. Because when I click on that activation oh link, God. Janifa gets paid a whopping $2.31. Hey, yo! Two dollars and thirty-one cents just to get someone to activate. Just create fake accounts. What the fuck? Why don't you just create fake accounts, Geneva? Like, just create a fake accounts and activate it. Considering with Geneva, it took her a whopping one hour to get two dollars and thirty. Why? Why are you scamming people on Discord? Just to create fake accounts. One cents gives you a little bit of a hint of who we're dealing with, and there are some cases where the rate actually varies between like zero dollars to forty-eight, which uh, you probably won't get forty-eight dollars. It's usually between like a dollar and two dollars. And the reason why Janifa kept telling me put in the age forty-seven or forty-five and above is because yeah. the older people for the dating websites just make a little bit more money <gasps> than younger people. But with this My Cute Girlfriends oh, program, I want to point oh. out something that's a, a little ironic. If you actually look down to the terms of program promotion in the prohibited list discord is listed so the point of this video is not just to show you these stupid scammers and explain discord wait, wait, wait. Is terms of program promotion doorways discord social networks publics games applications emailing click under pop 
under Bree, bro. I don't know what that is. Listed. So the point of this video is not just to show you these stupid scammers and explain all about like weird dating websites. It's also to snitch on these people because I think it's funny. I'm a very simple man. Now, just when I thought I had everything figured out, I went back to the email and I saw this. One of them accidentally picked up a Discord video call and we saw a complete office with multiple people <gasps> working in cubicles Yo! behind him. This whole Yo! operation Yo! was less of one person just trying to make money and it was an order. It's, it's, uh, yeah, I don't. What is up with India and that shit, man? Like, I don't really want to be stereotyping in India, but it's just always India. Organized ring of spammers. And I honestly have a good feeling that this is the truth because there's a lot of weird things that happens that wouldn't make sense if this was one person. The first thing is that when I first tried to contact all of these accounts, I went ballistic. I messaged, I think, 10 of them all at the same time. And if this was just one person, uh, they would have caught on, I hope. But considering I was able to confuse and annoy multiple people at the same time, it tells me that there's multiple human beings that are working on spamming people with these advertisements. And another thing I want to point out is that these accounts are old accounts. Member since 2018. Yep, this account is. here. Member since 2017. Because this account hacked, here. Member since 2017. Stolen, what is happening accounts. is that the person that is organizing this whole entire thing bought a bunch of aged Discord tokens off of the Discord black market. Which oh, that exists? Okay, that's also fair. So basically a whole bunch of generated Discord accounts that have been made a long time ago. And the reason why they do that is because if you start spamming people with a whole bunch of sign-up links, Discord will eventually terminate your accounts. New accounts aren't very trusted by Discord. Older yeah. accounts have a little bit more leeway. And if you understand that side of Discord, getting paid $2.31 every single time you sign someone up, that's really not worth it. You could do other things on Discord that would make you more money. <laughs> AKA scamming. You sign someone up. That's really not worth it. You could do other things on Discord. I'm being realistic. These people only care about money. Yeah. That would make you yeah, more money. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's someone at the very top who's organizing this whole thing. But who would actually yeah. work for that guy? Because here's the thing. That one person I was annoying for a long time, they only got one sign up within a whole entire hour. They only got paid $2. But nah, uh, uh Remember, the boss always has to get his cut. So these people, they didn't make $2.30. They probably made between $0.50 cents to a dollar for an hour of work. And you know the saying, you get what you pay for? Well, that definitely applies to the people that are running these bots. What about you, baby? What do you look like? It's me. I'm California. That makes no fucking sense. Please, your email put pray pray. Then next click. Age put 40, please. Pray pray. I did exactly what the woman told me to. I put please put pray pray emoji <laughs> just like she said. She tells me please write email put <laughs> pray. Oh, okay. Please write email put <laughs> Pray. And then she hits me with this motherfucker bitch India, I hard fuck your mom. Oh my god. So it's pretty clear to see that the people running these bots aren't yeah. foreign English speakers. <laughs> and well, they also have pretty short tempers. In the email, they managed to get a a voice message. Are you blind, Daddy? I sent I told you verify Gmail screenshot okay you are saying to me a uh, main website screenshot not gmail verification from this blind daddy accent and maybe perhaps a little cheeky ip grabber <laughs> in the email that i was sent the viewer determined that the people running this whole operation were probably located in bangladesh and i mean there's only one way to figure out by trying to ask them are you an attractive bengali girl and the response was go and f your own mother <laughs> mother or small d man crying while laughing emoji f your family girls it's gonna free and without link b you think you doing free poor guy haven't money also in expectations high level wow crying while laughing emoji mother f your b bro <laughs> this, this is beauty bro i need this as a copy pasta a king player hi thanks for the follow i need this as a copy pasta man Oh my god. And I did my own journalistic investigation and I just asked one straight up if they're from Bangladesh and he said, how did you know? So they're from Bangladesh. And <laughs> oh 
How did you know? Just asked one straight up if they're from Bangladesh. And he said, how did you know? So they're from Bangladesh. And just to make sure the math is mathing properly, because making like a dollar an hour does not make sense to me, I actually looked at the minimum rates of wages for employees in West Bengal. Now that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is someone who failed their geography class. Because if you go on Google, West Bengal is in India. It's close to Bangladesh. I'll give myself marks for that. But it's completely wrong. So that document I was looking at, wrong. So I actually had to do a little bit more Googling. And it turns out the minimum wage for people in Bangladesh is somewhere on this chart. And I gave up pretty quickly. And I yeah, just searched... Yeah, I... I know that we have some Indian viewers, like one or two, since you asked me earlier about the merch shipping. Hey, any, any Indians in chat right now? Anyone who can read this? in Bangladesh is somewhere on this chart and I gave up pretty quickly and I just searched what the minimum wage in Bangladesh was and according to some fair labor website which is probably more educated than I am in 2023 the Bangladesh minimum wage board increased the minimum wage to 12,500 BDT you know I okay. had zero chance of pronouncing this correctly which is equivalent to $113 so hiring workers in Bangladesh is extremely wow. cheap which also explains why they can have so many people do this scam at the same time and in some really wow. rare cases the these people beg for money directly. They might beg for the most yeah. valuable- <laughs> Please send a gift paper. ...resource on the planet, Discord Nitro. Give me Nitro, <laughs> BB. Why are you directly asking for Nitro? And sometimes the they'll fuck? just beg you for money straight through PayPal. Give me money. How? They you just... have a PayPal. And when you don't <laughs> give them their money that they deserve, they try to negotiate with you by saying, f your mother, f your sister, f your father, f your 14 fists, f the son of a I got everything up to 14 <laughs> fists. Now, ladies and gentlemen, have you ever been bored on Discord and wanted something truly fun to do? Assuming yes. you're an adult. Well, <laughs> I have wasted those scammers people's time before. I have a new challenge, a Discord TikTok challenge that won't kill you. A called Discord TikTok How challenge. How mad can you make a Discord spam account? And the world record so far is actually from the dude in my email who got a one minute and 10 second <gasps> voice message of a lady getting pretty upset. You know you are King Cleaver, a man, you know about me, you know about my uh, work. You are so much stupid and idiot person I have never seen. You are like such an idiot of others' traffic. And TDS made a video about how to cash in natural links a while back. Wait, that's a thing? You can sell natural links for money. I never because knew. Wow. You are acting from first okay you were acting from first that you are never uh did it at all like okay. these types of work but you okay. are already done it okay uh -uh. and when you're done <laughs> what is she saying i wanna i need i need to listen to this again what is she trying to say a minute and 10 second voice message of a lady getting pretty upset you know you are fucking clever a man you know about me you know about my uh, okay so she's saying he knows about her work okay you are so much stupid but you're stupid idiot person i have never seen you are like such an idiot of okay yeah. traffic because okay. you are acting from first okay you were acting from first okay so you were pretending you never, first uh, did it at all so at first you were pretending that you had no idea what was going on all, i guess like these types of work but you are already done it okay and Okay. When you're done having all your fun, make sure to report the message for being spam. Just so, at the end of the day, these accounts get terminated off Discord, which just <laughs> makes them even more mad. Any hoot hollering and a half gamers, I'm gonna go talk to my awesome wife that I've been talking to on this dating app for like Janifa! six months so far. Yes, Wait, I don't loop. do have to spend $5 a message, but it's worth its weight in gold. She told me she loved me. Okay, bye-bye, oh, I love you. Janifa! <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Jeez, fucking Christ, she's trying so hard, I'll give her an A for effort. She definitely is trying hard, but, you know... That doesn't make the things she's doing right. None of that. None of that. I've brain damage. Thanks, boss. You're welcome. You are so very welcome.